Welcome back to Adrenaline Barbecue. My name is Guga from Guga Foods, and we all agree that ribeye is the king of all steaks. I'm not arguing. I 100% agree. Who's the queen? Who's the queen? Picanha. You better believe My boy says picanha, and picanha is the queen. If you have never heard of it, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this amazing cut. And we're doing everything on the slow and sear and the cold gray technique. Let's do it. So what is picanha and where does it come from? Many people call it sirloin cap, culotte, rump cap. We Brazilians, we call it picanha. This is where picanha comes from, it's right on top, close to the rear section. One of the reasons why picanha is so tender is because it does not do a lot of work. It is part of the sirloin butt, that is why picanha is extremely tender, just like filet mignon. But it has the flavor of an amazing ribeye. But you need some explanation in order to understand a little bit better what picanha is. Let me explain to you exactly how to find the picanha part of the actual sirloin cap. We have the tip and we have the end part. As you notice, if I squeezed right here, this is one vein, and we call this vein the first vein. Kanya will only have two veins, so if you notice, this is the second vein, and here we have the third vein. Everything from the third vein forward is not picanha, and we call it cochon duro, which is basically sirloin, versus being the real tenderness of picanha. Just like tenderloin, picanha doesn't come completely clean. I'm gonna be cleaning this one up, and we're gonna transform this sirloin cap to real picanha. Check it out. Remove the silver skin and the unnecessary extra fat. Now this is what a picanha should look like, never larger than two and a half pounds. If larger than two and a half pounds, you have some cochon duro on there, and it will be the toughest part. It's still good, but not as good as the real picanha. Now that we have her ready and clean, let's cut her in some steaks. And one thing to remember when you're cutting it in steaks is to cut it with the grain. And the reason is that your end cut right before serving will be cut against the grain. Check it out. Here we have all the steaks of picanha, everybody. However, the very first one I cut it quite thin, and the reason is it's not going to be as tender as these three here in the middle. The last two, the tip and the one following that, is not as tender as the three middle ones. Now these steaks look beautiful and ready to go. I'm gonna be keeping it traditional and seasoning it with only salt, nothing else. In Brazil, we only use rock salt, but you're welcome to use kosher salt as well. So let's do it. For today's cook, we are doing the cold grade technique, and one of the things that we have to remember is to dry brine it overnight. To dry brine, just apply the salt, put it on a rack, and leave it overnight on the refrigerator. By using this method, we're gonna have the seasoning throughout the meat, at the same time drying the surface of the picanha tremendously for an awesome sear. After dry brining overnight, this is what it looks like. Very dry and bright red. The white parts is where the salt was standing. It's perfectly fine and the way it should be. Look at these picanhas, guys. They look absolutely fantastic. The mahogany color is exactly what we're looking for when we're dry brining overnight. Now here's the deal. I'm going to slow cook them on the slow and sear, all right? And what we're gonna do is put about 25 briquettes in there. And then we're gonna bring the temperature up to 225 degrees Fahrenheit. 
When we do that, we're gonna slow cook our picanha and we're going to bring up the temperature of these beautiful picanhas to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it's reached, I'm gonna flip them so that I can cook them evenly to 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we're gonna take them out, we're gonna prepare them and we're gonna sear them. So, watch this. Now to get a great sear, all we need to do is pat it dry really good to remove all the moisture. Apply olive oil and we are ready for the sear, so let's do it. Remove the reservoir for maximum sear on the Slow and Sear 2.0. This is the picanha guys, it is the queen of all meats and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video but now it come to the best part and I'm sorry I have to eat in front of you, I know your mouth is watering right now but anyway, let's give it a try. So can you guys see this? Check this out. I'm gonna try to do a close up, it is perfectly medium rare, the crust is incredible that slow and sear does the job perfectly. Now, here's the deal, very important and traditional, if not all the Brazilians are gonna get mad at you. You have to eat the fat. Do not not eat the fat, all right? Cheers, guys. Wow. <laughs> that is delicious, amazing, incredible. I gotta tell you, amazing is not a word for this. There is a reason why this is the national steak of Brazil. It is the best of the best, guys. I'm telling you right now, if you haven't tried it, you have to try it. I like my steaks medium rare, a little bit more towards rare. If you learn it a little bit more well done, cook a little bit higher before you start searing it. I only took these steaks to 110 degrees Fahrenheit and I seared it and you finish it off at a temperature of 225. Some people like a little bit higher at 135 that would be your option it's how you like it it's important for you to cook it how you like it picanha will take the temperature even a little bit higher if you want it to up high temperatures it's okay with it as well so to compare this steak if you never had it it's a mix of filet mignon with tenderness together with a ribeye taste that is more or less where picanha falls in but better than both of them combined together i'm telling you you have to give this one a try Here's the deal, there's a lot of people behind the camera and they're getting upset with me because I'm taking too long. Come on, bro. <laughs> You're gonna have to wait. <laughs> Come on, bro. That's my nephew behind the camera. And he's like, hurry up, I wanna try it. Wow, it is good, guys, I'm telling you. Picanha is the queen of all steaks, guys. If you never tried it, give it a try. I promise you, you won't regret it. You already know how to do it. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. I'm Guga with Adrenaline Barbecue Company where they didn't invent the cattle, but they did perfect it. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, bye-bye. Jara, -bye. Angel, I know you're gonna drive, you drive crazy to try. I know, I know, go for it. Whoa. Chill, bro, whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. How is it, how do you like it? Mm. Mm. I think you're so hungry. Guys, we've been recording this video for mm -hmm. quite some time. It took a... Relax, bro. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna run away. Mm -hmm. This boy's hungry. Are you all right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're gonna enjoy these steaks and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. Mm. <laughs>